Welcome all. Welcome to this new course where we are going to cover the underground piping and its stress analysis. This is 3.5 hours course. Let us see what are the various items which we are going to cover in this course. First of all, we'll try to understand why, what, where we do underground piping. Why not above ground? What is the requirement? What are the basic things which we really need to remember when we are performing these uh, underground piping? Basic uh, thumb rules best practices we'll look into when we are going to perform the underground piping something we have to remember the best practices so we'll list out and we'll look into each and everything then basic terms which are generally used in underground piping catch basin clean out sealed manhole vent pipes invert elevation lifting station diversion pits so these are the basic terms which will be there in any of the underground network so once we can understand these things, we can uh, understand any of the underground network. Then we look into the trench piping. When we go for trench piping, what is trench piping, how it is done, we look into various cross sections so that we can understand what kind of uh, trench piping is there. Then we will look into cooling water system. Okay, although we'll look into all the networks, cooling water, oily water, contaminated raw water, rainwater, closed, open drain, every network we'll look into one by one, but cooling water will look into more details. Composite drawing. In underground networks, we need to prepare the composite drawings. This is one of the critical deliverable, which is really useful at site when we are looking at all the underground facilities. So we'll look into what are composite drawings, why these drawings are required, what are the minimum requirements to develop these things, what are the various inputs, what kind of drawings these are, right? So all these things will be covered. Then we will look into the scope split. What kind of uh, responsibilities and scope is divided based on estimation, planning and cost, 30%, 60% model review, who is responsible what kind of activities are divided into various disciplines those things we'll look into right so procurement stages again with respect to procurement uh, underground networks we'll look into then we'll come to the stress analysis part here we are going to cover the ug pipeline pipes and buried pipes okay first we'll look into various uh, documents we'll try to understand what kind of inputs are there where we are going to get these inputs and how we are going to use all these parameters when we are going to model in Caesar, right? What kind of unit system we are going to have, how we are going to utilize the soil properties, how we are going to read the profile drawings, what kind of codes and standards will be there, what kind of AG and UG interfaces are there, which we really need to take care. Then we'll look into step-by-step -step modeling part. We are going to use various tools of Caesar 2, how we are going to use and what are the various tools available all these things we'll look into one by one how we are going to model the pipeline fitting supports everything uh, will be looked into detail best practices when we are going to model or analyze uh, through caesar modeling of buried pipe ug pipe modeler tool so this is really important when we are talking about stress analysis of underground piping and soil modeler these two tools we look into detail and how we do the modeling and how we utilize these tools uh, so this is something which we are going to cover in this section then in the end we'll look at various load cases how we create with respect to various parameters then how uh, and what kind of results are produced by caesar and how we are going to analyze those uh, results how we are going to generate the stress reports how we are going to conclude the results so all these things we are going to cover in this course. So it is not only about layout, we are going to cover the stress part also so that we can visualize, we can understand and we can implement in our live projects. So I'm sure this is going to be a very good session. So uh, in this case, in this course, my friend Anoop Day has contributed uh, a lot, especially with respect to stress analysis. I'm sure this is going to be a very good course and you're going to uh, learn a lot of new things.